Do not go anywhere. The Christmas special of Rainbow's Riddles starts right now. I had everything I needed from my home office. They had software to help me with my studies. I love the low prices. I like the service. I love the finance packages. Everybody loves, everybody loves, everybody loves, everybody loves. The new episode of Rainbow's Riddles is out. Starting now, our feature presentation. The following program has been rated TVY. Suitable for all children. Christmas, come on in. We're so glad you could join us on this Christmas Eve night. Yeah, it wouldn't be Christmas without you. I think the first thing we should do is read our Christmas poem. I wrote it myself. Do you want to hear it? Great. Okay, here it goes. <clears throat> on Christmas Eve night, when the moon shines bright, everyone sleeps snuggled up tight. While sleeping in bed, with dreams in our heads, someone comes in a bright red sled. Who could it be? Is it you? Is it me? No, it's Santa. Who else could it be? Santa comes and brings good gifts to boys and girls who are nice on his list. Jolly and happy Santa can be. He enjoys putting presents under the tree. Before he goes, he pokes his nose and says, Ho, 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 and away he goes. He says, Merry Christmas to one and all, with reindeer flying. And that is all. That was a good poem, Rainbow. Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. Did you like my poem, too? Aw, uh, thanks. <laughs> hey, Kirsten, what do you want for Christmas this year? Well... All I want for Christmas is to celebrate it with you. That's nice. What do you want for Christmas? Yeah? Well, that sounds like a nice Christmas gift. There's something I'd like for Christmas. Really? Well, what do you want for Christmas, Rainbow? Well, to guess what I want for Christmas, we need to play Rainbow's Riddles Christmas Eve Edition. All right. I love Rainbow's Riddles. Remember how we play this game? I'll give you three hints, and you have to guess what the riddle is. Ready to play? Great! Come on, everyone. Let's play Rainbow's Riddles. Do you want to play? It'll be a thrill. Come on, everyone, let's play Rainbow's Riddles. Do you want to play? It'll be a thrill. Give you a hint, that's my first riddle. I give you another hint, that's the second one. I give you the final hint, that's the last riddle. When you know the answer, shout hooray, it's gonna be fun. Come on, everyone, let's play Rainbow's Riddles. Do you want to play? It'll be a thrill. Come on, everyone, let's play Rainbow's Riddles. Do you want to play? It'll be a thrill. 
Okay, Rainbow, we're ready for our first hint. Okay, here it comes. Your first hint is friends. Hmm, friends. So, what does Rainbow want for Christmas with friends? Do you know? Yeah, maybe. Your second hint is coming up soon. <laughs> do you hear something? Yes, I do. Let's go see who it is. <laughs> Mike! Hi, Rainbow. Hey, Kirsten. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm so happy to see you. And Merry Christmas. Every year, I wrap presents and put them under the tree for my friends. I could really use some help figuring out who each present is for. Of course. We'd love to help you. Will you help Mike, too? Great! Thanks. So, I have some presents here, and they're shaped like a circle. But I don't know who gets the circle presents. Hmm. Well, who do we know that likes circles and round objects? Send me the circle. And Mrs. Circle. Yeah! Semi and Mrs. Circle both like circle-shaped things. Oh, so that must mean that these presents are for Semi and Mrs. Circle. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, now can you guess who this present is for? It's pink with lots of stars and a magic wand. Well, who do we know that would love this present? Yeah, George, because George loves magic tricks. He certainly does. Okay, great. And now, can you guess who this present is for? It's got lots of musical instruments and has musical notes and a saxophone on the front. <laughs> who do we know that would love this present? Yeah, Charlie the Musical Blanket. He would definitely love this present. You betcha. Our Funtime friends will love these presents, Mike. I hope so. I bought them at Josie's present shop. They cost me a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Mmm. I smell brownies. Oh, yeah. Indy the iPad is making so... Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go and get a brownie or two. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks for your help. Bye. <laughs> it's time for television. Come on! Telly the television, what's on my TV screen? Telly the television, can you tell us please? Merry Christmas, Rainbow and Kirsten. VHS and I have a Christmas short special for you. Are you ready, VHS? I'm ready, Telly. Today's short film is The Christmas Tree. Let's watch together. Best short film ever! Thanks, Telly and VHS. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Well, now it's time for your second hint to what I want for Christmas. Your second hint is a song. Hmm, a song. So, Rainbow's first hint was friends, and now his second hint is a song. What does Rainbow want for Christmas with friends and a song? Do you know? Maybe. Your final hint is coming up soon. Rainbow! Kirsten! Who said that? I'm not sure. Let's go find out. In here! <gasps> it's Josie! And she's at Santa's workshop. No way! Yeah, it's great, isn't it? 
Come on over to Santa's workshop. We're coming, Josie. Let's go. Rain goes back, just goes back. We'll be back at Station Network. My name is Gracie Bavard. I'm in eighth grade and I'm a member of Arroyo Seca's Advanced Choir. I love choir because singing is my passion. And I've made so many great memories from Donut Day to the days where we would all stand by the piano and sing All of Me. The reason I love being a part of choir is I get to do the thing I love and I get to be with the people I care about. Everyone in choir, we're not only united by our love of music, but we're united by that kindness. You join a family and create a bond that could never be broken. Choir is an experience you can't get anywhere else, and if you want to make memories and sing, then join choir. If you would like to join choir, we would love to have you here. You will always be a Seiko singer. Hi, Mr. Foreman here to tell you about the best product I've ever endorsed. Are you tired of a musicless, boring life? Are you looking to make great friends for your Seiko years? Do you want to learn an awesome lifelong skill that will also give you a fun creative outlet? Well, joining the Arroyo Seiko Band is for you! We've got fun trips, competitions, and more. So email now for this great deal. Be sure to check out our website for more information. And I'll see all of you in band soon. The new webisode is back on Iana Station Network. Now continue. Being at Santa's workshop makes me feel like Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Rainbow. Kirsten. Josie. Josie. Oh, hi, you. Merry Christmas. Josie, come on. Coming. That's my friend, good friend, Mrs. Claus, Santa's wife. She's in charge of everything we do around here. Today, we're loading the presents for all of the boys and girls who have been good this year. This is my favorite Christmas tradition. What does tradition mean? A tradition is something that friends and families do every year. Yeah, and friends and families come together and do things. That's also another thing about a tradition. Tradition! Hey, will you help me and Mrs. Claus? We'd love to. Want to help us too? Great. All right, come on then. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I'll tell you what present I need, and you have to figure out which one it is. Oh, okay. So first, I need a present that's in a shape with eight sides. It's the same shape as a stop sign. Hmm. Well, which present has eight sides? Right, that one. This person is shaped like an octagon, because an octagon has eight sides. Very good. That's the first person I want. Thanks. Now, I need another person that has six sides, which kind of looks like an octagon. Hmm. Which of these presents has six sides? Yeah, that one. This present is shaped like a hectagon, which is almost like an octagon. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. And lastly, I need a present that has five sides, which looks like an octagon and a hexagon. Which present has five sides? Right. That present, because this person is called a pentagon. It has five sides, and it looks similar to an octagon and a hexagon. 
You are so good at finding these three shapes. <laughs> Wow! Well, Mrs. Claus and I have some more work to do. Thank you so much for all your help. See you soon. Merry Christmas. Bye, Bye Josie. Josie. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good job helping Josie and Mrs. Claus. Yeah, very good job. Oh, we still don't know what Rainbow wants for Christmas. Rainbow, what's our last hint? I'm glad you asked, Kirsten. Your third and final hint is Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Great! We have all three hints! Let's go think about them! Okay, so Rainbow's riddles are friends, a song, and the words Merry Christmas. What does Rainbow want for Christmas? Do you know? <gasps> Did you say sing Merry Christmas with friends? Yep, that's it. You got it. Yeah, Rainbow wants to sing Merry Christmas with friends. I guess that's what he wants for Christmas. <laughs> we solved Rainbow's riddles! Hooray, hooray, you did it, you did it. Hooray, hooray, you did it, you did it. You figured out Rainbow's riddles. And now you get to play, 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 play. Hooray, hooray, you did it, you did it. Hooray, hooray, you did it, you did it. You did it! You solved another riddle! I do want to sing Merry Christmas with all my friends. Will you sing with me? Great, come on! Let's go outside and sing Merry Christmas together! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and you and you Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and to all your family too. Wrapping the presents, singing some songs. It's what Christmas is all about. Everyone sing along. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to you and you and you. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and to all your family too. Merry, Merry Christmas,
And now, our feature presentation, 